With interest rates rising, why are homes still selling for way above list? Well, in this video, I'll go over what's really going on and how this country just loves bubbles. Let's go. Thanks for tuning in guys. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Manuel Sanchez. I'm a real estate professional here in San Diego. Okay, so let's dive into this real estate market that seems to be unstoppable. Ever since I can remember, Americans have been fascinated and at the same time scared about bubbles. No, not that kind of bubble, this kind of bubble. What we know now is Wall Street can bring down Main Street. And uh, frankly, I'm gonna tell you it's a little scary. I have been hearing about how the market is going to crash since getting into real estate four years ago. It happens to be a topic of conversation. The news sells with headlines like the housing bubble 2022, will the housing bubble burst this year, signs of a housing bubble are brewing, and I get why they do it. And just like you, I also tune in and watch. One, because I wanna be informed, and two, because as a professional agent, I like studying the market. What are my buyer and seller clients seeing and reading? Is it real or is it just for ratings? How can I educate them on what's really happening? And how can I answer the famous question of, are we in a bubble? Well, yes and no. We are in a growing bubble, but the burst won't be like 2008. I was looking at the numbers just a few weeks ago, and here in San Diego County, we currently have around 2,600 homes for sale. Now, this same time last year, we had 5,400 homes for sale. But in 2008, when the housing market collapsed, we had an average of about 20,000 homes for sale. So you see, for the housing market to collapse like 2008, we would need to have a hell of a lot more inventory on the market. But why is it with interest rates rising, we are seeing even more people looking to buy? Well, the short answer is they don't wanna miss the train. They have realized that now's the time to buy before interest rates get higher. But to answer the question of the housing bubble, I do believe home prices will stabilize and even come down two to 3% by 2024. We will reach a point where affordability and salaries will not have caught up to these home prices. But don't be scared, we won't see 2008 happen again. Another reason why housing prices have just skyrocketed and not just here in San Diego, but all across the country has been corporate greed. Investors have been ruining the market for the average home buyer buying up all the inventory with cash. Redfin reported that in Q1 of this year, 18.5% 4% of homes were purchased by investors, which is up from 12.6% from the prior year. Yes, this is alarming, mostly because these investors are buying lower to mid price ranges, affecting the first time home buyers, which typically buy in the lower to mid ranges. I have even seen it multiple times when submitting offers for my clients. An investor comes in way above list, all cash, no contingencies, close in 10 days. Now, these are offers first time home buyers cannot compete with and or are scared to compete with. And as an agent, we have a due diligence to look out for a client's best interest. So it's important to not put them in a position of risk. Now, this is to a certain point, I guess. Sometimes you have to take the leap to get the house, but that's on a case by case basis. But why is this all happening? Why are these investors just swooping up the limited inventory? Well, one way to put it is market control. The more these big corporations buy, the more they can control rent increases. And with hyperinflation, they see the value of parking money in real estate, using the dollar to buy up an asset that throughout history has only appreciated. Corporate greed isn't the only thing driving up home prices. It's a combination of a few other things like low interest rates, which equates to supply and demand. We are heading into an era of millennials buying their first home. 
And with the low interest rates that we had last year, this became a reality for many millennials. Now they can afford more home, which brought out a wave of new home buyers combined with pent up demand from COVID. But what about current homeowners? What benefit did they see with low interest rates? Well, many of them decided not to sell and instead refinance to update and remodel their current home. Not only that, but many of them saw the benefit of home ownership being that their home value rose significantly. So they refinanced, got some cash and started buying investment properties. But after COVID, much of the workforce started working from home and everything really changed. Working from home may have sounded fun at first for those who had to suit up and commute to the office, but after a few months of Zoom calls and sweats and long walks to the kitchen, many of these people started noticing where they lived. They started to realize that maybe now was the time to move into a bigger house with an extra bedroom for a home office. COVID has really changed what we look for in homes. The city people started wanting the backyard, the extra space, and now they don't need to live close to work. Everything is mobile now. The pandemic changed the way we live, and with the shortage of everything, I don't see this changing much in the near future. So in conclusion, with interest rates rising the way they have been, I do see home prices maybe slowing down a bit, stabilizing for a little bit, uh, but there's a lot of pent up demand. There's a lot of buyers right now. So um, I don't see home prices coming down. I don't think we're in a bubble. Um, they might maybe, like I said, stabilize, come down two to 3%, but we won't really see that until 2024 when maybe uh, the buyer demand uh, slows down for a little bit. And as I've always told my clients, don't let the market dictate you buying a home. Your financial situation should always dictate when to buy and when to sell. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you got any value, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Also, comment below. Let me know what your thoughts on are on the real estate market. And uh, maybe you're looking to buy or maybe you're looking to sell. But anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.